The demand for metal, medical equipment right now is pretty high and it's continuing to grow. Things like gloves, masks, gowns, all in short supply across hospitals, or I should say in hospitals across the country who are trying to restock their depleted supplies. Also on that list, ventilators. We've heard a lot about those. Those are the machines that help patients breathe when they can't breathe on their own. And because the COVID-19 virus attacks the respiratory system, the need for additional ventilators also continues to grow. Well, here in the Treasure Valley, there's a university just down the road called Boise State trying to do their part to help combat the potential shortage. Shira Matsuzawa is here now with a look at what they are doing to do that. Brian, right now the Department of Respiratory Care at Boise State University is in the process of distributing 14 of its ventilators to some of their medical partners in the valley, which include hospitals like St. Al's and St. Luke's. Now those ventilators are normally used by students, but since students are no longer on campus, the school is putting them to better use. We're going to have a great need for, for uh, ventilators. Uh, we're likely going to have our intensive care units full and, uh, and all the ventilators that are currently available within the valley uh, that are usually used will be, will be in action. So they're going to need additional support. And so that's where this come into play. We're doing all we can to help. Um, everybody, I hope, is doing all you can to help. Now what you're looking at is videos from Boise State of one of their professors, Lonnie Ashworth. He developed a method for ventilating two or more patients with just one ventilator, which he published to YouTube, with the idea being that this would only be used in extreme circumstances where it would be life-saving because of the lack of ventilators. Now Dr. Coyle tells me the YouTube post about this has been getting a lot of comments and suggestions to further refine this process. So if the need arises, this will be an option if the time comes. Now, BSU is also offering additional resources, and you can find those in this web story on KTVB.com. Brian? So he kind of MacGyvered that situation, which is kind of cool. But sure, I have a question. I know with schools like a nursing school, you got to have up-to-date equipment, but is the equipment that they're donating or lending out is it pretty up to date? Yeah, from my understanding, it's up to date, but the hospitals still have to check it out before they're able to use it. All right. Thank you very much, Shira.